No, I get it. I get it. You don't want me to make any more videos on the Notion app system because that's done. But what you want me to do is make a entire setup series based on the Supreme Second Brain because I dropped another big template and people are like, what is it? Why should I use it? And I should probably give you the entirety of the context as to why you should use it via making a series on how to use it. Yeah, what a nice guy I am. Hey, round of applause for that. And round of applause for my course mastering Notion. If you haven't heard about it yet, you haven't watched any of my recent videos, it's a great course that will show you how to well, master Notion. It's very long, so if you wanna know anything about it, you're gonna learn it when watching it. And the good news is if you buy the Supreme Second Brain or any of my other workspace templates, you're gonna get this course. So if you don't wanna pay for Skillshare, you can just get the template. You don't have to waste your time watching this series. So what is this dang template? Well, long story short, I, I heard all the feedback about like, oh, Notion app system, really cool, but like the sidebar, I actually ain't it. I actually ain't with it, and that's totally fine. So I made this Supreme Second Brain that is essentially based off of Tiago Forte's PARA method, PARA, PARA, which stands for Project, Area, Resource, and Archive. You can put a plural on the end of that. I chose not to for some reason. And this setup is entirely built in with that system, so you can essentially work on your tasks in this format and your projects. It has a built-in habit tracker. It is a built-in journal setup that then goes into a weekly review for GTD. It's a whole thing. I'm really excited to bring this to you because for me, it's just been it's just been a wonder being able to like go and check out this action center and work through it on my own time. But as much as I like the Notion app system, I might have to migrate my own workspace to this. I'm not even sure what I'm gonna do. What I am sure is the fact that you're gonna learn how to do this and I'm trying to be a little bit slower when I make content because people have complained that I talk too fast and I take constructive feedback. And I also take constructive feedback that people wanna see a little bit more of close-ups when I do recordings and they also wanna see the key binds that I press when I do things fast. So I've actually implemented my entire recording setup to have this happen now so I can zoom in very easily and say, for example, I were to press a key bind, it would show it right here. And that is going to hopefully make these tutorials a lot better. I know this is the start to a series. Let's jump right into how to get this thing built from scratch. So first of all, I'm gonna just make a page here. You can make it anywhere to be honest, but I wanted to make it here because duh. JK, I'm gonna do it here. Building the Supreme Second Brain from scratch. So getting started here, I'm just gonna call the home page home. I'm gonna make it full width and I'm gonna make the framework of a lot of this to get things started. And for those of you wondering why I'm giving this away for free, I'm giving it away for free because marketing, think about it for a few minutes, you'll figure it out. At the very top here, what I would recommend is that you do a slash cal five, and then you're gonna make a call out block. And then you can just duplicate this, as you can see, control D a couple of times here. And what I like doing is having all of these colors be the same background to start. So let's change this to to gray. Then I'm going to make this one a blue background to signify that it's the home page. Then I'm going to put a little brain here. Now you can choose to do this with like an emoji theme or an icon theme. I'm going to do this theme. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press control L and copy the page link. As you can see, a bunch of different things I just did there was essentially highlighted this. And you can either click here to do a link, you can press control K and then you can paste in the link you just got. I'm gonna add a home icon as well to this, have a little brain, I like it blue. Then we're gonna put a wrench here for projects. Projects, I'm gonna make this bold and do all caps. Projects, do a layers for areas. And then we're gonna do a add page for resources. And then we're going to do an archive for archive. Now what we're then gonna do is we're gonna highlight all of these and just duplicate it. The reason for that being, is we're actually going to go below it and do another call five, and then drag these into the section right below, and delete this extra one out, delete the space within this, and then we're gonna make a page called slash page, then databases, and we're gonna do slash page views. I'm gonna add an icon to both of these. This is gonna be I, and this is going to be databases. Now for this, what I do wanna point out is that I did make an oops here. What I should have done is made sure that I do a slash synced block. Now in the sync block, you're gonna do slash call five again. You're gonna drag this same five blocks in here, not having any space at the bottom. If ever it gets finicky like that, you can always click off and then go back in there and hover over on the six dots and drag. 
Okay, so that should be good to go. And then I would highlight or click under any of these blocks and delete the blocks out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna highlight these four, change this color to the default background. And we're gonna change these to review. You can do a little rewind. We can do meetings and notes. You ever just look at your keyboard and wonder why, because you've touch typed for years. Goals, then we do a little target action. And then we are going to call this one contacts. Do silhouette. I'm going to do contacts. Okay, now this is the main top part of the setup here. So what we're going to do in the next video is actually dive into the different databases and views that we're gonna create. This is the main part of the navigation. And essentially these are gonna all hyperlink to different pages, database or uh, views. And then later on, we'll make sure that we implement this synced callout block into multiple different places in the workspace. So based off of what I just said, it would make sense then, right? That if I took this and remembered as well that this needed to be within a sync block, we're gonna do the same exercise. So call five and then drag these in here. And then once again, just delete all the different spots under it. So if you want to figure out how to make this from scratch, or if you wanna learn more on how to improve your productivity, I would check out this video right here.